Back to regular programming. Welcome back. Thanks for coming back to the MK show. You're obviously here for a reason. So basically, I have interests. One is artwork and the other is fire. And I thought, what could I do that has artwork and fire in the same thing? And that's wood burning, my friends. I have a, what's the word? Hobby of wood burning. And I kind of made it a small business of my, for myself, so I'm, it's, it, it's good. A little side cash, you know? But basically, as per Twitter poll and Instagram poll, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a wood burning tutorial slash whatever showing of my wood burning stuff and I can put in pictures of stuff that I've already done. But I will basically show you a sign that I'm gonna be doing for a friend and this should be fun. Hopefully you guys won't get too bored with it but I'll try to talk you through everything basically. All you need for wood burning is a piece of wood, which sadly I didn't bring any with me, but a piece of wood, some regular graphite paper, a pen, whatever design you want to put on, and a wood burning pen, just like this one. I got mine at Michael's. It's, I mean, they're not that expensive. They're maybe like $15, maybe the cheapest but like some of them this is just a regular pen you just turn it on and it's it gets hot like this is the hot part right here but some of them they have their own dial and everything and they could range from like 30 to 40 dollars I don't even know I'm cheap my parents bought me my wood braiding pens so we got this cheaper ones but yeah I'll show you guys a basic design that I do for most of my hobbies. If you guys want to do this, full disclaimer, you will burn yourself. Done it multiple times. It's probably not for anyone under the age of 15. I think I started when I was 15. I don't really remember when I started. I've always been artsy. You will get burned. It will hurt. Don't cry. Crying is for babies. You don't cry in baseball. Nope, there's no crying. So, no crying in wood burning either. Here's a piece of wood that we're gonna be using to do this tutorial. Now, you have to take the plastic, obviously, off and measure everything so you know what to use for your thing. I use a fine grit sandpaper to clean it. And while you're cleaning it, make sure that you always get the edges because on a piece of wood, it's how it fuzzes out and everything normally you have to clean it so then you can have a clean product at the end and you also want it to be smooth like a baby's bottom that's how I describe it so then when you're painting over staining it works out perfectly fine now coming up I have the picture of what I'm gonna be putting on already made thanks to mom and obviously I have the bottom part covered with blue because this is in a personalized thing. So when you're done doing this you need to put your graphite paper under the diagram slash design and use a pen over the design on top of the graphite paper and start copying that down. And just go through all the letters or whichever you have. When you pull it up you'll have the graphite down on the board like I will show you here now. Need some pop up music. This girl is on fire. This girl is on fire. She's walking on fire. So, getting back to drawing the lines, when you use the wood burning pen, you want to go over the graphite lines that you have already created. And you don't have to push down hard on these. Normally, the since the pen is so hot, it goes in pretty easily. And just go over nice and smooth. Depending on the grain of your wood, you could have issues. So if you were to look up close to mine, sometimes there are the oils that are still stuck in the wood. 
and it can come through in different parts of the wood. But basically you just want to go over nice and easy and just take your time because these lines are delicate and if you want straight clean lines you have to take your time. Like practice makes perfect, that's basically all you gotta do. And because this is making a silhouette, the inside of the horse and the letters do not really matter all that much because you are going to be filling them in eventually. Now, I'm going to fast forward all this so then you guys can see what it looks like after I get it all done. And most likely I will be filling it in too because that takes twice as long to do the lines. But when you do fill it in, you're going to want to use a different pin. So like if you look, that pin is really small meant for lines. Now my camera is actually sitting on my box that holds all my pins so I can't get it. But it looks like just a rounded head top kind of thing. And I mean it's really simple to change out the pins. You either wait until your thing cools off because if you want to lose your fingers go right ahead or you can use a pair of pliers and just take it off let it sit down on a towel. Another reason why the towel is under the board besides to keep it there and just place it there and that's basically it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit probably with finished product. And I lied, I'm actually going to show you a little bit of the stuff that I'm doing for the filling in process. Same thing as I said before, you have to take your time because some grains are different. And just go nice and smooth. If you can tell, I changed the pin head so it is a thicker pin. And it'll help you fill in more quickly and not take 12 hours to do instead of like 3. For a sealant, I always use Hellman's. It's a good indoor-outdoor thing to use. And basically, you're done after that. And just for you guys to know, these projects that I do, it doesn't take the length of the video. Like, obviously, it doesn't. I skip a lot of stuff. All of these things take either days or weeks to do just because of the fact that when I put stains on, they gotta sit for like four hours. And then I gotta do it again. And then I gotta sit for four hours and gotta do it again. So it's all a really long process and that's how I get the things to look so good. But this one is just a base, like basic wood burning sign. It's a silhouette with a name. That's that's it. So I do want you guys to definitely try it if you want to. Again, disclaimer, you might burn your fingers or get a splinter, or burn your house. Um, but yeah, it would be, be good. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this video. You can comment designs that you want me to do that I can show you in another video. Or comment what you like about the wood burning facts that I may not know. You could do that. You can share this video if you're interested in wood burning. I don't know. This is a small YouTube channel. I mean, we're trying everything, okay? If you guys like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will be sure to have something more entertaining if this is boring to you next time, next Thursday. Au revoir. Wait, they, yeah, they do love thumbs up. Give it a big ol' thumbs up.